Firefighters Without Borders is an organization of committed fire service professionals who are focused on helping equip tomorrow's heroes. This morning, they helped make a donation that is going to make a real difference in Ukraine. Uh, Ukraine has been fighting for its freedom and democracy for over three months now. And every day, there are bombs being dropped on Ukrainian cities where people are getting killed and injured and property destroyed. And it is the brave first responders um, all over the world, but in particular the Ukrainian ones who are going into danger to save lives and property. However, Ukrainian first responders aren't all equipped with the proper protective gear. There is little to no equipment. Um, and there are individuals that have stepped up in the first response effort who also may or may not have had formal training in firefighting operations. So even though through Firefighters Without Borders, our goal is to look at longer term projects, we identified an immediate need in the Ukraine and an opportunity to assist a very worthy and much needed gap. Uh, so we're not necessarily um, doing any training right now in the Ukraine, but we are facilitating the donation of equipment from various departments, including Oakville, uh, to help that effort. BCU Foundation, which represents the Buduchnist Credit Union charitable arm, um, has been collecting this kind of gear for the firefighters for first responders in Ukraine. Uh, there have been a lot of volunteers joining the first responders uh, who have uh, limited training, let alone gear. Uh, BCU Foundation uh, makes sure that it gets to the people that need it most. It gets to the fire departments that need it most. We speak with them directly. Um, they tell us a list of what's needed and we try to uh, fulfill those needs. Deputy Chief Rajagopalan says none of this would happen without the great volunteers at Firefighters Without Borders. They make sure the donations help fill specific needs, including bunker gear for a six and a half foot tall Ukrainian firefighter. We have a situation in the Ukraine where we're dealing with search and rescue operations being performed without access to proper footwear, as an example, or being conducted in a situation where there is no uh, electricity. So today, as part of this donation, we're providing flashlights, we're providing firefighting boots, we're providing uh, decommissioned bunker gear and a whole host of other firefighting equipment that will help them carry out these operations in I'm calling it safe, but in as safe a manner as possible, given the conditions that they're in. This equipment will be part of the third shipment that is going out on June 4th. So this is um, stretching. I'm going to get real emotional here. This is making sure that they live another day making sure that they save another life and making sure that they make it out alive because people of Ukraine are the most important portion of the country. And we're making sure that their life is spared and this gear is, uh, is going a far way of uh, saving their lives and saving other people's lives because that's, that's what they provide as first responders.